Today I wanted to share with you my quick and easy cowl pattern. This takes about an hour to do and it is done in single and half double crochet stitches. For this pattern you're going to need one skein of super bulky weight yarn. I'm using the Lion Brand um, Woolies Thick and Quick and um, the color is Claret and there are 108 yards in this skein. You're going to need a stitch marker because we're going to be working in the round and you're going to need a size um, in crochet hook and that's 10 millimeters. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to chain 50. That just happens to be the length that works for me. Um, you may want to go ahead and test it on yourself. Once you test that out, you may find that it's too short or too long. Um, if you need to chain more, go ahead. If you need to take out some, go ahead and do that as well. All right. Once you have figured out the length, you will need to actually, um, you're going to use a slip stitch to join the ends. You have to be really careful not to twist. And now with this yarn I'm using, obviously it's sort of a darker color, and I know it's not maybe not the easiest thing to see, but um, I want to show you. Normally what I do is I just sort of lay out um, my chain to make sure that all of the V's are at the top. That just kind of helps me keep it straight. But then once I know that I have it straight, I go ahead and you're, I'm going to go ahead and make a slip stitch. So to do that, you just insert your hook into the, the basically the first chain that you made going underneath the V okay and then you're gonna take your yarn you're gonna take your yarn making sure not to you know don't accidentally use the tail and you yarn over and pull through and then you pull through again like you pull through the um, the hoop that was on your hook already and that's a slip stitch okay so the first row calls for you to make um, single crochets all the way around so after I've made my slip stitch I'm gonna chain one okay and that counts as my first single crochet I'm gonna go ahead and mark that stitch You can use whatever type of stitch marker that you have. And then I'm going to work single crochet all the way around. And you have to be careful not to work in the stitch that you put the slip stitch into. You can usually tell because the tail will be there. So it's not this one, it's this one. And then you just work your single crochets. So you insert the hook under the V, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, so you're going to continue to make single crochets all the way around for a total of 50 stitches, including your um, chain stitch. And I'll be back when I have got to the end of the row. Okay, so I have worked a total of 50 stitches, um, including the turning chain, which counted as the first single crochet. And so I'm back at the end of the row. Um, then all you do is you're going to join into the first one that you made with another slip stitch. I go ahead and take out the stitch marker at this point. If you're using multiple stitch markers you could leave it in there. But I usually just use one and move it. Okay. So now it's been slip stitched. Okay so at this point I, I just want to mention that if you had twisted the chain you know your chain um, you would have known it at that point for sure you would have not been able to make that slip stitch without physically turning it or having a like an actual twist somewhere along the way to get it in there so 
and it usually, I mean, I've occasionally done that before, and then I'm like, oh no, but you'll be able to tell usually because the, the ends won't be, it won't be relatively straight, or like the bottom of the piece won't be relatively straight, it'll be like, sort of, you'll just see a twist in it. Anyway, now onto the second row, it is done in all half double crochet. So to do that, you're going to do, um, you're going to chain two after you've made your slip stitch. And then you're going to mark the top of that chain with your stitch marker. And that also counts as your first half double crochet. Okay. Now you are going to work. Now you're going to work half double crochets all the way around, just like you did with a single crochet. To do the half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook. We're going to go into the next stitch, which is this one. Let's see if it'll focus better. I don't know if it's going to. Let's see. There we go. All right. Um, so this was where I had done the slip stitch into, and so we're going to work into this one now. So you yarn over, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull through. You're left with three hoops on your hook. One, two, three. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. I'll do that again for you. Yarn over, insert your hook under, wait, we're working into both of the V's. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay. And then you're just going to continue all the way around. And I will be back to show you what that looks like once I'm at the very end again. Okay, so I wanted to show you what to do once you get to the end of your row. I have um, obviously have the turning chain, which counts as one, and then I worked. 49 actual half double crochets for a total of 50 stitches and now what you're going to do is it's really easy to get confused and you're going to want to work into that one I do it accidentally all the time um, <laughs> so you're not going to work into that see that's basically at the base of your chain and that's where you don't want to go so big no on that one you're going to just pretend like that's not there and you're going to go ahead and work into the top of your um, turning chain. And we're going to do a slip stitch. Okay. And now if you, if you count, you should have 50 stitches. Okay. And then the next row is single crochet so you're going to want to just chain one that's your turning chain you're going to mark the stitch and then you're going to continue working around um, you're going to work into let's see, this loop right here it's kind of hard to see these yarns a little fuzzy but right there so that's where you're going to do your first single crochet. And then just continuing all the way around until you're at the end of this row. And then you'll do another row of half double crochet. And then you're just going to continue on doing, um, you know, alternating between single crochet and half double crochet until it's the length that you want it to be. I will um, come back and show you what mine looks like when it's completed. Okay, so I have worked a total of 11 rows. Um, my last row was a single crochet, and I'm almost at the end, and I wanted to just go ahead and show you what to do to finish it up. Um, so I'm back at the end, and so I'll just take the stitch marker out. And then I'm going to slip stitch. Okay. 
and now just pull it out a little bit mine has a little bit you see how it sort of divots down so what I'm gonna do is actually do one more slip stitch I usually do this when I get to the end um, just because I think it makes it look slightly more finished so one more slip stitch and then I'll pull out some yarn and I'm gonna cut it um, leave enough to sew in your end so I don't know six to eight inches something like that I usually always leave a little bit extra just in case but All right, and then you're just going to pull through and tighten. Okay, and then all you have to do is just weave in your ends. And you can see it just makes it just makes that top just a little bit um, more smooth. It doesn't make it have like a weird like, you know, dip in it. Okay, so this is my finished cowl. It was really simple and I really like how it turned out. It's nice and thick and warm, but it still has um, a little bit of breathability. I, I really, you know, obviously I want to stay warm when I'm wearing a cowl, but at the same time, if this is, you know, it's got a, this is a wool blend, so when I have wool too close to my neck, I tend to get sort of like, I don't know, I sort of feel claustrophobic, <laughs> so I like it to be, you know, sort of breathable, I suppose. All right. Thanks for watching and let me know how this turned out for you.